Hello, Soul Tribe. This is Renee Yasiri with InsideJobHealing.com coming to you live with this week's Astro Energy Collective forecast. So the energies are starting to shift. And so we have the North Node and South Node uh, switching into Taurus, which is where we're headed as a collective. So we're really exploring themes of self-worth, um, security, money-making, materialism. So a lot of us have that uh, on our minds. And the South Node is going to be in Scorpio, which is really um, intimate relationships and deep emotions. But we're stepping away from that as a collective from the South Node and into the North Node. And we're switching out of Mercury that brought us hybrid education, Zoom uh, meetings, and um, online schooling. So we're shifting away from Gemini and into Taurus. So these themes are very, very pertinent um, because we are still in Venus retrograde. Venus retrograde will not end officially until January 29th, which is around the corner. Yay. Um, and so Venus rules love, relationships, and projects, and investments, and money making. And it happens to rule Taurus. So that has been um, going backwards and really in pre-shadow since November. So it's felt like we've been in a holding pattern since November. And so hopefully when we're done with that at the end of January, it won't officially start stationing forward until the beginning of March because it's going to go in its post uh, shadow period, but still we are going to breathe a sigh of relief as a collective. So I don't know about you, but I cannot wait till February because after the first week of February, we're also going to be done with Mercury retrograde, which started January 14th and lasts three weeks. So we got to the beginning of February. And as I've mentioned in previous videos, February, March, and April are great times to start new things and projects and investments um, and relationships because most of the planets are going direct, especially um, the most important planet, which is the love planet, which is Venus. So all this we know. And so what are some new things that happen? So yesterday and today, we've been experiencing the full moon energies in Cancer. Cancer is the nurturer, it's the healer, it's a very emotional sign, it's a water sign. So a lot of us are feeling like we want to be nurtured and nourished and it's a very inward energy and so a lot of us might, you know, it's the crab, so we might have felt like retreating this weekend. I know a lot of people, including myself, experienced migraines for sure on Sunday. Some people said on Saturday, and some people are experiencing migraines yesterday and today. So again, you know, anywhere from three days before or three days after a full moon, we are gonna feel the energies. Um, I don't know about you, but I have been hitting the snooze button for the last couple of days. I've been, you know, just really tired and wanting to have that very deep REM sleep. So if your body needs to rest, you know, give your body some rest, honor your body. Um, and so I'm back in the gym this week. Last week was that special time. So my body was like, uh-uh, you are not going to the gym. You don't have any excess energy. Excuse me, you're exhausted. Um, you're going through your own private ceremony. Um, and so that's something that I really want to mention is a lot of us that are spiritually awakened, a lot of us that are going through all this crazy COVID stuff with the collective, uh, we are exhausted. <laughs> it's been almost two years. I started these videos almost two years ago, honestly, as a manifester in the human design, we respond to things. And so if you had just asked me to start video doing videos just, just for the heck of it once a week, I probably wouldn't have. <laughs> um, but the reason I started doing that is because a lot of my clients were freaking out about COVID and the lockdowns and didn't know what was going on. And so I started these videos in an effort to kind of help you what's going on, you know, to help you understand what's going on in the cosmos. So that way you're like, okay, this is making sense. This is what the week's bringing. Um, and a lot of people say that they're really accurate. And so this is why I started making the videos. But now I am looking at my calendar and I'm like, wow, I started these in March 2020. And now we're going to March 2022. So I may be taking a break in the future. I will see about that. I will definitely keep you posted. I'm sure you guys can get a lot of astrology from other sources, but I hope you've been enjoying um, the videos so far. So please hit me up and DM me in, in the comments, share the videos, um, follow, like, and all that good stuff because the algorithms unfortunately don't support longer videos. They're currently supporting reels, especially in Instagram. So anyhow, um, 
and these videos are also available on YouTube at Inside Job Healing. So love for you to spread the word because there's a lot of content. I've probably made a hundred videos by now. So you can kind of go back and see what we're going through as a collective. So speaking of what we've been going through since May, 2020, Uranus has been, um, uh, in retrograde in Taurus. And so, you know, this has been a touchy subject because Taurus, like I said, is, is the materialism. It's an earth sign. It's all about money making. It's all about luxury. It's all about, um, you know, security and all that good stuff. And we've had Uranus, the planet of sudden change and our authentic self, um, you know, and surprises, you know, all that stuff is your Uranus stuff. Uh, but really kind of that sudden change to shift into your authentic expression has been going backwards for a long time. And so I'm happy to report that it's starting to go to direct today. So that's really exciting news. So expect unexpected surprises in a good way, especially with Jupiter being in Pisces, a sign it likes, and Jupiter being the planet of good fortune um, and uh, luck. And then we have Uranus going direct in Taurus, which is really exciting. Um, and then we have the nodes shifting north node into Taurus. So guys, this is all about feeling secure and safe, uh, feeling nourished and nurtured, especially with this Cancer full moon, feeling like you deserve it, like you're worthy of, of good things, um, that you can you know, actually pamper yourself and nourish yourself uh, and maybe take that spa day. So it's really, really good energies in the mix. I'm really happy to report that. Um, and. I, I want to say that with this Mercury retrograde, I didn't say it last week, but it, you know, with Mercury retrograde, it's a time to revisit not only communication and logic and technology and travel and all that stuff. And it's, again, it's not really a great time to sign contracts or travel, as you know, for Mercury retrograde. However, with Mercury retrograde, um, it is a great time to revisit your lifestyle choices, especially with dry January. A lot of people have quit drinking. A lot of people are hitting the gym hard. I mean, I was at uh, my gym and we have a cinema where you could get to watch a movie. And I think it was like Z World or something. And it was a Brad Pitt um, zombie movie. And it was like every machine at 4.30 in the afternoon was like booked. And so everybody's in the gym, everybody's doing their New Year's resolutions, they're detoxing, they're giving up drinking, etc. So this is the perfect time to revisit your lifestyle, your food choices, your day-to-day, -day, your health, your work day-to-day -day routine. Um, that has to do with a lot with Gemini um, and Gemini is um, ruled by Mercury. So those are all things ruled by Mercury. So this is a wonderful opportunity for you to do that with this Mercury retrograde is to see what's working, what's not, what you need to cut out. Um, and then with the love beauty planet going online, <laughs> finally um, ending the retrograde at the end of January, hopefully you had some chances to kind of revisit some internal things about maybe how you look or your beauty or, or your, how you're aging or your body or uh, body dysmorphia issues. So um, hopefully you've taken the last few months to really explore these external things and know that your worth does not come from your weight or um, your beauty or how much money you have in the bank. Um, which is also affected by Venus because it's, it affects money making. Um, and a lot of us have felt squeezed and have felt that scrunch um, and that crunch. And so that's the perfect analogy. I feel like a lot of us in the collective for the last two years have felt really squeezed um, and everything that we try to hold on to, anything external um, and really kind of external uh, sources of joy have been taken away from us and snatched away from us. Um, and it's time to find your own inner joy. It's time to find your own inner peace and really mental health that is an, at an all time low um, because the human mind cannot process this kind of trauma on the collective level and lack of control. And that's another thing we're being asked to let go of our control because these control systems, you know, have, have basically placed this narrative before us, like you have to wear a mask and on the, oh my gosh, I went to Chicago and on the plane, they were, you know, if your mask was not up to the top of the bridge of your nose and it was over here, they were on your ass. Um, and so, you know, a lot of, you know, airlines are on a power trip and they'll blackball you if you don't um, play ball with them. And so we've been under this tyranny and this control for the last two years and it's because we've allowed it as a collective we we you know we we said okay yes give us lock in you know lockdowns and yes we'll take the vaccines and we'll take the boosters 
even though unfortunately with everybody being vaccinated for the most part, most of the population because of the pressure, you know, to give up travel and work opportunities in the government, et cetera, if you don't get vaxxed, Unfortunately, we're in a situation where um, this past Christmas and this, this holiday season, a lot of families got COVID, even though they were vaccinated. So we clearly see that the booster and the vax are not working, um, but unfortunately, uh, society is not honoring people's choice to have free will over their body and forcing that, and you're getting penalized if you don't have it. And even Chicago, when I was in Chicago, we had to show a QR code to enter a club um, as of January 3rd. And so they're following suit with LA and New York. And so again, as a collective, we've had all these rights away. We've been squeezed financially, spiritually, emotionally, physically. Um, and people's fear has come to the surface, especially those that are not awakened. So it's literally had us forced us to face our fears, our subconscious fears, our deepest, deepest inadequacies and insecurities. Um, and we're in a situation now where we are forced to find our own happiness, our own joy, because it's very difficult to find joy outside in the external world, because even if you're traveling, it it sucks. It sucks to travel uh, in COVID. It really does. I've done it several times and it's very oppressive. Um, and you literally take your mask off after, you know, uh, a six to nine hour um, journey and you're just like, <gasps> and you can actually breathe again. Um, you know, we're still wearing masks at the gym and stuff. So it's it's been, you know, even traveling is restrictive. You have to take a PCR test before, after or both when you go to any countries now. Um, it just, it's, it, they've taken the fun out of it. And there's just a lot of things like, you know, uh, we, we just don't feel joyous um, as much as we used to externally, like movies and dancing and eating out and, um, and uh, you know, traveling. We can do all those things, but it's under severe restrictions and with the fear that you might contract COVID, especially with cases um, spiking. And this has been a two year thing and our mind's like, okay, WTF, like I can deal with this for a month, two, three, but, you know, ongoing with no uh, no end in sight. That is very depressing. That is very soul sucking for the human spirit. And a lot of people are feeling depressed, like not necessarily suicidal, but a lot of people have lost their joy of life and they're feeling like I could peace out at any moment or am I supposed to still be here on the planet? So if that's you, just know that you are being challenged to master yourself and to find your inner joy and to find your peace of mind from the inside out and not rely as hard as it is, not rely on external sources for joy or fun um, or feeling good and having good mental health. So it's really your job every day to make sure that you start the day off, whether it's meditation or Headspace or Calm app or whatever it is, or breath work or dancing or yoga or going to the gym or going for a walk in the morning, but whatever it is, you have to take ownership and responsibility for your own mental health and your own um, joy and happiness. And it is a challenge, but I know you're up for it. Um, so the last thing that I want to say, yeah, so we're, we're st today, we're still experiencing the full moon energies in Cancer. Uranus went direct. Mercury retrograde um, uh, is in full swing. It ends the, the first week of, of February. And Venus is in, retrograde is still in full swing. It ends the end of uh, January. And so the other thing I want to mention to you is confusion. We've had a lot of squares and oppositions with Neptune, which is the planet of, of confusion. Um, spirituality, creativity, and murkiness, but also mostly confusion. And I just want to share something that sh uh, really struck and resonated with me that uh, Guru uh, Sri Sri Ravi Shankar, uh, who had the pleasure of meeting in DC a few years ago, shared with Lewis Howe um, on the School of Greatness. And he said, confusion is a good thing. A lot of times we think confusion or I don't know is a bad thing, but it's actually a good thing because he said, that's when you're trying to upgrade uh, to something new and confusion basically indicates that you don't know what direction to go, but it means that you're growing. Um, and then it's okay to sit with the confusion until, you know, the answers come and you have that clarity. And so that's what I want to leave with you. A lot of us have been feeling confused, uh, especially with everything being, you know, Venus being in retrograde, we're not starting new projects, investments, or relationships, and we don't really know what the direction ahead is. And because we've, we're letting go of so much karma and releasing and releasing control, we're in a time where where everything's coming up is new and it's been stalled and it's been delayed, but it's coming. But our outside world does not reflect our inner world and our inner strength. So hang in there. Love you guys.
Renee Siri with InsideJobHealing.com.